Is anyone else always tired of Scrooge calling you poor? Well, I'm done with that today. We're making a million star coins before lunch. Hey everyone, it's Ella and welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're joining me for this video. So today we're gonna to talk about money in Dreamlight Valley. Now I certainly didn't start this video off trying to make a million star coins, but let me tell you, that's just kind of how it's going at this point. So we've all seen the new promotional images that have the colored houses that you can kind of pick your color instead of the yellow one that's standard, which is great. I'm so excited to change the color. I'm not really loving the yellow one to begin with. I was looking at my house trying to decide what color I would pick and notice I still have a big orange construction sign for Scrooge in front of it. So I walk up to it. I'm gonna update my house. It cost me 75,000 coins, which if you're anything like me when you play the game, I think like 6,000 coins for an item in the shop, I gotta go grind for that and find some diamonds to sell. Needless to say, I definitely didn't have that 75,000 coins, so I had to go get them. I typically mine to get my money, but if I'm looking for large quantities of money, I think we've all tried pumpkin farming. It's probably the way to go. So I bought some pumpkins, planted them, sold them, got my 75,000 for my house, updated it. Well, later that day, I was down on the beach and I walked by Moana's stall and I was like, you know what? I have a little bit of extra cash for my pumpkin farming. I should update her stall. Little did I know, I didn't need one upgrade for it. I needed two. So back to the pumpkins I went, farmed some more, got them. Later on that day, I was gonna decorate my plaza area, but I needed some pebbles to make pathways. And I had both Stitch and Buzz that I marked them as digging was their friendship. Um, so I went, grabbed Stitch, and decided I was gonna go do some digging up in the forest. Now, that somehow turned into me digging 650 holes, and I'm sure you know where this is going but I somehow decided that I should buy pumpkin seeds for these. That was the best idea. <laughs> Off I went to Goofy's to purchase these pumpkin seeds and I spent an inappropriate amount of money, but people say you need to spend money to make money. So here we go. I picked up Buzz along the way cause Stitch already got to level 10 from all the digging that we did and started to plant all of my pumpkin seeds. And we planted and planted and planted. <laughs> Buzz leveled up a couple times. It was raining, so it was perfect. I wanted to get them all done while it was still raining, so I didn't have to water them. Um, but that wasn't quite the case. It did stop halfway through, but I would much rather water half of 650 plants than all of 650, so I was happy with that. With pumpkin seeds, you do have to water them when you plant them as well as two hours into it. But thankfully for me, it was raining at the time, so I only ever had to do that initial water of half my plants. Here they all are watered. It took up a ton of room. I don't think I realized how much room it would take up when I started doing this, but I had to move some of my trees and some of the houses and all sorts of stuff. But uh, in the end, I think it'll be so worth it. Four hours later, all my pumpkins grew and it was so cool to see. I was kind of surprised I only crashed once. Um, I really thought it was gonna be worse than that with all of the blocks, but hey, that's good news for me. So here they all are and now we have to harvest them. So I went over and enlisted the help of my trusty friend, Wally. There was no way I was gonna do this without him. He typically gives me about 50% more. He is level 10. Um, and I do all my gardening with him. So he was definitely gonna be joining me for this adventure. So we harvested and harvested and harvested until all the pumpkins were picked, 650 of them. Looking around, I was truly amazed at how much Wally pulled out from the gardening that we did together. This is kind of my PSA. If you are not gardening with someone, you really need to be because this is an insane amount extra that I'm getting. Okay, now that you've seen all of the pumpkins that I harvested and all the pumpkins that Wally dropped around the edges here, why don't you take a minute, comment down below how many pumpkins do you think we got? Because I'm about to show ya. That is a total of 1,263 pumpkins that we harvested from this. So let's go see what Goofy will give us for these just straight pumpkins. At $664 a piece, he's gonna give us $838,000, which is incredible, I gotta say, but I think we can do a little better. Like I said earlier, I like to mine, that's how I get all my money, so I have a ton of coal lying around, so I'm going to cook up these pumpkins, and that's how we're gonna make a little extra money with these. 
on the menu today. It's a grilled veggie platter. We're going to turn all of our pumpkins into that. Now this requires three vegetables of any kind and depending on what vegetable you use, you get more money. So I find the pumpkins definitely the most profitable that I found so far. And I basically just cook them forever until they were completed. And then we're off to Goofy's stall to sell everything we made. That's a total of 421 grilled veggie platters with a sale price of 1.1 million star coins. Now to go swim in my bathtub full of cash. I heard that's what you do if you have a million dollars in coins, right Scrooge? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you leave a like, a comment down below of how you prefer to make your money and subscribe for more videos coming up. Until next time, I will see you in the valley.